Right, we are ready to start uh, the process. The first thing is having unwrapped the uh, MDF, and they call it sprues, but the sheets here, various thickness. This bottom one here, uh, top as it was boxed, is um, probably about five millimeters thick, down to uh, one millimeter, because that's quite thin there. Uh, so various thicknesses of uh, MDF in there. Uh, it looks all very nicely done and um, we will see how that goes together. So the first part was on blocking it. Now I'm going to get my cutting mat and sharp blade in order because it's been etched so there's a little part of the etching not quite cut through uh, and that just needs to be cut with a sharp knife to release the part from the sprue. You don't break it out you cut it from the reverse side. That's the basic structure of the lock complete and it forms a very robust uh, item. Once it's glued together like that it's sturdy and robust. Uh, mixture of glues, uh, some of the joints I've done with the super glue but that's because I was feeling confident. My fingers tell the tale though. Let's just have a look at um, how it fits in place, considering its size. What you are seeing is my greatly neglected double gauge shed layout. A bit of track cleaning and uh, clearing up, clearing of space would mean these two items could run. Um, I'm going to swing round to this end, and what you'll see there. It's a bit of a mess, but a gap. And there's room at this end, at a, a lower level here, for something. And the thing that I am uh, really going to try and fit into there is going to be focused around my lock gate kit that I bought from JS Designs. So I'm going to build the kit first and then you need a board, baseboard with 40 millimetres or so of change in height to accommodate the uh, lock. And then once that's there with the lock in situ, I've got a range of things that can go around it. Industrial scene, there's a little mill type industrial building there. Oh, it's a water, water mill. There's a water mill there. Uh, some other bits. I've got I've got plenty, uh, quite a lot of continental, but needs kit bashing into uh, UK outline industrial things if I want it to be an industrial one. But it could equally be a rural uh, lock, canal lock scene, uh, just in there. That's just to show you where it's going. That's the plan. That's the idea. And uh, that would be at the end of this shed layout. And for those just picking up on kind of the latest YouTube, if you've been uh, looking at my videos for a while, you'll remember this from times gone by. In fact, plenty to do on it. And it might be the inspiration I need just to get into here more and get things moving. And the view from the shed layout out into the garden with its more level lawn now showing where the garden railway is in relation to this shed. <laughs> 